Ladies and gentlemen, Nikki Z is in the place. What up, Agro? What is going on? I am overwhelmed right now. This is amazing. And and just a little fun fact, my mom is actually also from St. Elizabeth, too. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Sainty, Sainty to the world. So dig up to all my people from Jamaica, West Marlin. Of course, you can't forget St. Elizabeth, Kingston, Montego Bay, Ocho Rios, Portmore for sure. What's up, Hanover? What'd you know about it? Did you know about it? 13 going on 14 parishes, you know? What's good? Wow, wow! <laughs> Nick is this in the place. Yeah, man. It's an honor. It's I got goosebumps right now. Wow. It's, yeah, yeah. And it's not just because I haven't been doing this in a while. It's like just coming in here and seeing how the radio station is set up. Yeah. Sassy Radio. Yeah. It's on a different level. And this is what I've been dreaming for. Even on the island, we have few stations that have this kind of setup like that. Nice, you know nice. Immediately this is you what en- I'm talking about. Yeah, immediately you enter into the studio. I saw you. My eyes was yeah. like, yes. Going like, whoa. Teleprompter, big screen, <laughs> visual cameras in all corner, levels of excellence. So, yeah, Asasi Radio. Big up to everybody in Accra, everybody in Ghana, everybody online. What's good? What's good, Ghana? <laughs> Accra, wake up, man. Wake yeah, up. Man. Don't sleep, Accra. Wake up. Peace. Now they got a holiday. Why they can't sleep? They might be listening and and, and sleeping. You know what I mean? A little bit of both. <laughs> both. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so how is the vibe like, Nikki Z? How is the vibe like you being in Ghana right now mm. from your London at the airport and, you know, you know the people them usher you in into, you know, Accra and the vibe and all that, you know. <laughs> Jumped in an Uber. Who welcomed me? I didn't even know who I was at the airport. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they knew. I, but, yeah, I mean, I I was asked if I wanted to be picked up and all that. But I'm just one of those people that this, mm-hmm. this, this travel journey I've been on this year was more about me. It wasn't about, you know, going out and doing. I haven't been doing no gigs. I've been laying on the beach in Nairobi. I went to Peru. I went to Portugal. But I felt like Ghana was someplace I had to land. And it was more on the business side because I know there's this strong rooted connection with the reggae industry and Ghana, but yet so many of us from Jamaica and even US mm-hmm. have not been here. Definitely. So how that connection is there, but mm-hmm. so many of us have not been here. Definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I came here to answer that question. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki Z is my guest. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. So, Nikki, tell me, as as you landed and you entered into the Uber, you know, <laughs> I, I I just want to know how yeah. the feel look like it's like for you. You know, you 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 are a traveler. You've yeah. been to so many places, you know. But you know, everybody says Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Yeah. You know what I mean? But as you landed in and you you you, you jumped into the Uber, yeah. how was that feel like? Um, It hit me in a different way, but I got to go backwards to tell you exactly why that is. Yeah. Because the first place I went to this mm-hmm. year in Africa was <laughs> Diani Beach. Oh, I see. So I spent about two months on the beach, and I love being there because I love animals and all that. But it hit me differently mm-hmm. because when I saw our people over there, I felt like the majority was in servitude. Mm-hmm. Like 85, 90% mm-hmm. of all of the Africans I encountered were in servitude. They were doing something that had to do with customer service. All right. And the people that were there that were doing the business and mm-hmm. holding the you know best part of the coastline mm-hmm. were European or yeah. something non-African. Yeah. So every day when I was on the beach, you know, it kind of hit me because I felt like I was watching our people kind of cower down in a way that I didn't like. All right. I didn't like it at all. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even when you see couples, I know black and white couples. I've seen mixed couples. I know them. I don't care. Date who you want to date. But these couples look more like all transactional and sometimes not in the best of ways, you know? So for me, it kind of slapped me in a different way because I've never really been there, never spent that much time there. And just seeing the difference in the mindset, it hurt me. It hurt me a lot. But it was so beautiful. It was just so magical. And it's Africa. So. I was on the fence. I was on the fence with that. And Definitely. Then, yeah. And then when I landed here, it was almost the opposite. It felt mm-hmm. like so much more powerful. Over mm-hmm. there is powerful because it's Africa. But over here is like, 
you better step your game up. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> woo. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hold on. You know. Brush our music. You know, I got to go out. got to go get some clothes now. I'm like, you know, I got to talk more proper. I got to sit straight, you know, because you don't know who you sit next to. Definitely. Everybody and every, it's not light-skinned black who's in the majority. It's. You see the blackest of the black, and this man might be an engineer of the highest level. And for me, that level of proud, ooh, like I got goosebumps now. I got goose. It makes you want to step your game up. That's definitely. what Ghana feels like to me. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. That is why a lot of people say Ghana is the gateway to Africa. I can see it. Yeah, man. I can see it. I can feel it. Big up to nine of... <laughs> that was the first place I went when I got here. That man is a magical. If you don't know Nanoff, I've seen him. He really has one, been one of the people on social media that made me want to come to Ghana. His artwork <laughs> and the way he talks about his artwork. So if you know Nanoff, if you don't, look him up. He's amazing, and he's definitely an ambassador for sure. And you, i known you before I've met you. Yeah, definitely. Not true, like I see, definitely. Not true. Not true. Yeah, man. Uh, way back, man. <laughs> yeah, man, Nikki, yeah. Nikki. Yeah. Wow, wow. So, um, how would you describe Ghana in one word? Greatness. All right. Yeah. yeah, but we got to stop some of that stuff that I be seeing in Jamaica. Yeah. I'm about to talk up right now. Like, I found this nice little spot I'm at, right? Yeah. I talked the discount down. I'm like, I'm going to be here for like three months. You know what I mean? So yeah. work with me. He like, all right, I'm going to work with you. No problem. Do, 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 do. Why well, do go hit me up like like Friday night? It was like, yo, could you, could you, you know, like send the money now, you know, for next month? And I'm like, no, nah, it ain't you for like two weeks. What are you talking about? <laughs> so he like, he like, hold on. Yeah, but I'm broke. I'm like, I'm broke too. What are you talking about? <laughs> Then he gonna tell me the rent gonna go up. I said, all right, by how much is gonna go up? Yeah. Not toes in U.S., one toes in U.S., the man gone. I said, listen to me, me soon move, no worries, sir. <laughs> Next month, now nah, go see me. All right, <laughs> time to move on. Nick is here, yeah, my it's guest. In Jamaica. We do the same thing, bro. Don't scam me. You can't, <laughs> don't do that. We do the same thing in Jamaica, bro. Look who you talking to. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I understand you. I understand you. <laughs> yeah, I say it. You don't know. Hey, we the I'm same. Really we the same. <laughs> Definitely. I hear flying out. Ladies and gentlemen, exactly 20 minutes going into the R3. And trust yeah. me, Nikki Z is my guest. Yeah, man. And you know what? Right now, I don't want no this step sign. <laughs> Woo, baby. <laughs>
know this step sign. <laughs> this is a lane. Listen, for the compilation, our favorite Barry Salmon. Oh, God. This is what I love. To you and I hear cuts that you barely would hear oh, on radio in Jamaica. God. Oh God, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Big up to my sister Alain. <laughs> she thought she had us thinking she came to Ghana to get married one day a few a few years back. I, um, I think was it, it was, Ghana. It was Kenya. Oh, it was, it was Kenya then. Yeah, it was Kenya. I know it was somewhere <laughs> over here. It was Kenya. The whole of Jamaica was like she run off. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, um, there was a song with um she and then. I'm wiry. Right. And then the song went viral. Because we thought she went <laughs> to Africa to get married. And we're like, wait, wait, wait. What's going on, Elaine? Yeah. That's my sister, though. I and, love her. And, you know, I, I spoke to her in an interview, and then yeah. she was like, Lagazi, it was it was all for the game. I'm like, yeah. are you are you are you for real? Yeah. <laughs> nah, if, if you ever get to meet Elaine in life, you are a blessed person. She's one of the most sweetest souls in the reggae industry, and she's now also joined us in the radio fraternity. She has Definitely. her own, yeah, she has her own yeah. radio show in yeah. Jamaica right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. big up to Elaine for sure. Yeah, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Eid Mubarak to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. You don't know, man. It's a holiday edition of the Rush Hour. My guest is Nikki Z. So, Nikki, tell me, yeah. you're growing up. How was your growing up like in wow. Connecticut? How was it like? It was different. Um, I'm one of those people that kind of had a weird upbringing because my whole family is from Jamaica, but I grew up in the projects. The projects is what I guess people would call, well, not guess, I know people, is what it's referred to as the ghetto. You know, mm -hmm. systematic community put together by the government, mm -hmm. uh, supposedly to be affordable housing, basically. So I lived in the projects, and um, they put me in a program called Project Concern, which kind of shipped us out to white communities to go to schools in richer white communities. Mm -hmm. So it was like I had a Jamaican family in the inner city, but I'm going to school with rich white kids. So wow. that was how I kind of grew up. So I was able to t just be that person on the outside looking in in a lot of cases. All right. I kind of still feel like I'm that person, too. Like, I'm watching everybody else from the outside because I don't really belong anywhere because I've been everywhere. All you right. know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, my Jamaican family used to grow up and call me the Yankee. Mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> you know? And then I go to the white school, and you know how that is, what they're looking at me, like the science project. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I'm in the inner city, and they're going, oh, you talk like a white girl. So... That was my upbringing, just never fitting in anywhere. So it's just trying to find my own way, however I felt it was right. Was there anything to do with Christianity or Rastafari as you were, you know, in terms of your upbringing? No, once again, it was me watching from the outside. So I saw both religions. My mother was very Christian. Um, she was very heavy with church, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I do have a lot of friends within my my first boyfriend was a rasta and that was the first relationship where it was like i was always at the house i would talk to the mom and i would learn so i mean i learned from both of them but i didn't say that this is me on either side all right there were things i loved about both sides but mm -hmm. neither side truly felt like me all right yeah wow wow so so there was no influence from the christian side and also the rasta side i think i just been influenced by good human sides all right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I feel like, no, nah, I feel like we've gotten to this place where you, if you judge somebody just because they say they're a Christian or judge somebody just because they say they believe in Rasta, you're setting yourself up for a lot of disappointment because humans right. are humans. I've seen the biggest praiser of Christianity do the most demonic and evil things. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen people that preach Rastafari but have nothing but hate in their heart. So I can't sit here and tell you I'm this or that because I'm neither. I'm just somebody who believes in being a good human, and I believe in humanity, and that's about it. All right. Yeah. Nikki Z is yeah. my guest. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> Yo, Ghana. How you mean? How you mean? Listen to me. In no time, I will activate the phone line for you to call in. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You can ask you the questions. Uh-oh. You understand me? Uh-oh. <laughs> Tens of thousands. 
<laughs> Remember, she did set my first boyfriend, so I'll come to that. <laughs> You're in Ghana now. Cooper. <laughs> What's up, Tobai? You're in Ghana now, Nikki. I'm single. <laughs> Ready to mingle. No, no, I'm playing. Jesus I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> don't be, don't be out there trying to set me up. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 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 Man. I think I think I was talking to one artist like that and I was asking her questions yeah. and all that and she was like Lagazi, wow, I, I are you a pimp? I said, What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? He said, Yo, yeah, don't mean? ask me that <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> She was Man. like Lagazi, is this a hookup, you know, interview? I said, No, please, please don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd be a hard person to match up, so I don't. I don't have those expectations. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Nikki. But um, as you did say, my first boyfriend, and I was yeah. like, wow. So who is the second one? <laughs> wow, why are we trying to go there? <laughs> Shout out to Dwayne Bastiani. Yeah, man. How you out there? How you doing? I remember you too. Races and all. What's good, Dwayne? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so so let's talk about yeah. you know your your career now, mm-hmm. in terms of when this whole media thing step in for Nikki. Yeah. You know, when did I step in? How be, was the journey like? Yeah, I, I honestly think I was born this way. <laughs> I was told when I was young, I used to do stuff like imitate commercials. Um, I was very obsessive watching entertainers. Like, I would try to see beyond the video and see the emotion behind the song. So I remember from as long as I have memory being like that in my mindset. Uh, but then it was like uh, I, have a, I had a godfather who threw shows in Connecticut. Um, his name is Artie Wallace, so I used to kind of follow behind him and watch how putting on shows, I would see how a lot of these artists were behind the scenes and stuff like that from a young age. And then after I came back from the military now, I just started doing all kinds of things that had to do with entertainment. And it led me to working at um, a big old stadium where mm-hmm. concerts are held. Mm-hmm. And I ended up meeting a man named Jerry Duplessis, didn't have a clue who he was. I was having a nervous breakdown over something completely different, bawling my eyes out by a trash can. And he came over and started talking to me. And he ended up being Wyclef's cousin. So he's the bassist you'll see always with Wyclef, Jerry Duplessis. Wow. Yeah. wow. So we became fast friends after that. And once we became fast friends, they had a group called Product GMB. And he was like, hey, you know, they're going to perform at your stadium. It's some Jamaican dudes. <laughs> so I need you to link the promoter for me. Find out, rah, rah, rah. I linked the promoter, Donovan Longmore. And Donovan was like, we don't even know Product GMB like that. We just want some Yankee energy on here to bring the Yankee crowd into the stadium. Wow. So he jokingly said, do you want to bring them on stage? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> was that even a question? Sure. You know? Wow. And that was the first time I ever got on a stage. And it In was- which show was that? It was, I don't remember the name of the show, but it was a big stadium, a Meadows Music Theater in Hartford, Connecticut. I remember Coco T was there, but Donovan Lombard, they sent me out there and they just kept sending me out after that. Wow. And it was like, ooh, I like this. And then after that, he was like, you want to come on my radio show and talk about it? And I was like, sure. <laughs> wow. And then I got on this radio show and I was like, this ain't your show no more. This is our show. It's uh, our yeah. show, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and it just, it's a bug. Like, it's a bug in my body. I love radio. I love this. I love that. I do. And 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 you did say a, a while ago that yeah. um, I don't know if it's because you've been traveling all this while and you decide to, you know, put a pause on that. Yeah, I had to take a pause. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Why that? Because when things become about money for a creative, it doesn't become fun no more. And for the longest time, this business has gone from being fun to being about money. And not just with me, even with the artists. This whole social media has been feeding people to have to get everything now, not want to work for it, want everything in a rush, which has led to this whole legion of music that has no quality. It's just recycled. So for me as a creative, when I'm on radio... And they're telling me these are the hot songs and I can hear it in my head that that's rubbish. It just, it wasn't a balance for me at that time. So I just said, I'm not doing this just for a paycheck because I'm good for right now. I'm good. You know what I mean? I'm all right. I can take care of myself. There's things to do. Mm -hmm. 
So does it make sense? And I came to Africa in October. I actually came before I went to Diani Beach, but I went to Zanzibar and I went to Stone Town. I jumped out of a plane, I skydived. I felt like a kid. I felt like this big weight was gone. And then I went back to Jamaica and I went back on the radio and I was sitting there like, I gotta go. There's something more out there that's calling me and this just, just ain't doing it for me no more. It's just work. It's not soul food no more. It's just work. And I don't want to live like that. I'm grown. I might not look it, but I'm 46 going on 47 this year. You know what I'm Easy. saying? I don't know if you're watching on the visuals, <laughs> but I look kind of 30-ish. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. a little 29. No, I'm kidding. Not that far, but still. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a little hot you're 46. Jeans. 46. I was born 1976, the year Bob Marley took the politicians on the Easy. stage. Yes. Wow. Big energy year. Wow. Yeah, man. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have some few questions before we go on the phone. Rest in powers. Easy. Rest in power for real. Yeah, man. Uh, rest in real powers. Easy. Mm-hmm. This is Assassin Radio, and it don't know. My name is King Lagazi. I'm here with Nikki. Nikki in the building. You King understand Lagazzi. me? It don't know, man. <laughs> mm. Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. I just don't know, but, you know, following your social media, yeah. and uh, I don't know, a lot of artists describe Nicky Z as a troublemaker. Yeah. Why? Because I tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, at a point in time, I saw you were in a serious banter with Spice. No, you know, Spice was in a serious banjan with herself that she <laughs> used me as what it triggered. Big up the Spice anyway. She is, though. Yeah. It, 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 it'd be like saying that Spice ain't never argued with nobody before. <laughs> Definitely. What Definitely. happened was a basic story. She had a launch. I wasn't able to attend. My assistant went. My assistant got back to me and told me there was a part where there was a young journalist there mm-hmm. who they called up to do an interview with him. And the way it was done, my assistant felt strongly that... It was kind of a setup on this young man. But regardless of what was done, he was told some very harsh words, some Jamaican, a phrase in Jamaican slang that is really bad. You know, it's to your mama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one. Yeah. So I basically just said it on my social media. Like, we got to cut that out. Because at the same time, as an artist, you're using sensationalism to push your career. Yeah. So if this man is a young journalist, and he uses your sensationalism to then now translate and push his show, don't embarrass the youth in public like that. I felt a way about it, so I said how I feel. So she said that she was going to spend, I think, one week trashing me on social media so I can know what it's like to be talked about every day. It lasted, I think, 24 hours. I, I never responded, so it, it stopped. And I saw Spice after, and we good. I see, I'm like, I love you, mama. She's like, I love you, too. It's all good. I don't really respond to human behavior like that. Then there was Hitana, because she misunderstood something I post, and instead of contacting me, she did what she did. Yeah. And again, I didn't respond with the social media. Um, I respond to her, because that's me. I'm going to call you. I'm going to DM you. Definitely. I'm going to find you. I'm going to be like, what's good? <laughs> You know? And then we talked it out, and she understood. Like, she was... People react differently because of what's in their mind sometimes, not what the reality of life is. It's Mm -hmm. their triggers, it's their trauma, and they react to it. And I know that because I've been that person. So, you can say what you want. I'm still going to speak my truth, whether you like it or not. Yeah, but, but, but the fact that a lot of these artists are be like, yo... They sensitive. Nikki is troublemaker, Nikki is... When I posted the flyer, yeah, you know the amount of artists that link. I said, yo, like I said, you have the troublemaker. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, and a lot of them said it with a giggle too. <laughs> yeah, they know how to stay. And there was one point where they used to say I was a female bounty because my cross and my miserable. Easy. But I'm not. That's the thing. I'm not miserable. I'm passionate about the music business. I'm passionate about the entertainment, and I'm passionate about us as black people and how we put our presence forward and what we put out there. So I'm, I'm not just going to laugh and giggle when I feel like you're doing things that are harmful, you know. And I'm just not. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you make of now Afrobeat taking over the space on reggae dance or people are complaining? They can't complain. It's their fault. How are you going to complain about something that's your fault? 
We have the stage. We have the audience. We had every single thing. But then social media comes in and everybody wants to start living this Western type of lifestyle, which is not the essence of what reggae and dance all is. So now you started to alienate this audience that we have. We used to have an abundance of, of mixes and collaborations with hip hop artists. And most of those were birthed out of love. If you ask them how much I made for this collaboration, they probably look at you like, how much you made? We was in the studio, we just made the song, and that was that. Mm -hmm. But now it's like even to get a collaboration, these, these young artists who have barely even proved themselves want tens of thousands of dollars just because they went viral on TikTok. But they have not shown and proved nothing. You can't perform. We don't even have a female dancer last after Spice that can even dance. How can you be a dance hall diva and you can dance? <laughs> make it. it make sense. The last one was Jay Capri. Talk to me. Yeah. Who, who since Jay Capri has been at Jay Capri level in dance hall? Not. But they don't want me to talk like this. They don't like how I talk. But I talk the truth, and I don't care who don't like it. That's what I'm saying. And when you talk like me, a lot of people like to do gatekeeper stuff, but they can't do it with me. So that's why I'm the troublemaker. <laughs> I'm an army girl, so <laughs> anything you want to bring, bring it. <laughs> Nikki is my guest. That's what I'm saying. I'm your sister. What up, what up, like I said? What's good? Yo. Yeah. Let's go on the lines. Yeah, man. Ladies and gentlemen, 0200. Zero, zero. Zero two zero 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 nine nine five one zero two zero 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 nine nine five one zero five nine four one five seven 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 seven. That's a whole heap of number. Yeah, man. <laughs> Give me a call. <laughs> I got to pick myself up. There is someone on the line. Who is that on the line? It's a good friend, King of Pleasure. Hey, King of Pleasure, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hello. Hello. A long time, father. Yeah, man. Everything good, man. Where exactly are you, a Pleasure? Right at the Ashawa. Ashaiman. 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 We have Nikki Z in the studio. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I, I love his style. I love his music. I love, I love everything. But I want him to do collabor with Stoneboy. Nikki is not an artist, please. Yeah, I, I was wondering. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nikki is not an artist. Actually, I did do a song with Left Side years ago, but it's horrible. It's uh, called uh, Belly Ring. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Yeah, man. <laughs> Respecting a picture for the call, yeah? <laughs> I'm a DJ. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Hey. Hi. What is the name? Where are you calling from? Oh, my name is Rudolph. I'm calling from Adringano. Rudolph from Adringano. You, you're calling from yeah. a rich area, don't you? Easy. Well, I happen to be walking yeah. around there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walking, I... not working, walking. <laughs> Adringano is a rich area. Trust me, brother. Sir? You must have thousands to live there. Trust me. Well... <laughs> How is the vibe like for you? Oh, the vibe is amazing, man. You know, like, I'm feeling Nikki Z like nobody's business. Nikki Z, what one? What's going on, Rudolph? I'm going to call so, you Rudy. Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> so, you know what? Yeah. I I've met Nikki Z mm -hmm. a couple of times, right? Mm -hmm. um, actually, she's my good friend now. Okay. Um, we have, like, Nikki, how long have we known each other? Uh, like, two, three weeks? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, but we're like great friends, and I think she's an amazing human being. She has an amazing soul, and you know what? All them people who say Nikki is a troublemaker, mm -hmm. them don't know what's up. <laughs> no, no, Rudolph. Trust me, they know what's up, but they they don't get the side that people like you get. That's the difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I know, right? Yo, I know, you, right? Yeah, man. I know. You you but, just um, known Nikki for three weeks. Yeah, for three yeah. weeks. Yeah. 
Y'all slow your roll, man. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're really, I'm going to switch Thanks. it on King now. King Legacy, man, ever. Man, if I do you nothing yet? No, 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 no. Hold no, on. No. Me and you You good. know, but I'm saying you know me for years. Yeah, my definitely. Man, if I do you nothing yet? No, sir. You know why? <laughs> you have a good heart and a clean heart. Man, if I have a reason yet. Definitely. All right. So give me a reason. <laughs> and you'll get my bad side. <laughs> yes, Rudy, talk to me, man. King Legacy, you know what? Yeah. I think I think we found your co-host. Definitely. 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 Man, the energy, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thank man. you, Rudy. Yeah, but Rudy, big up yourself, man. You know what? Don't let her out of the studio without signing her on. Uh, and give her like a contract. <laughs> Don't worry yourself, man. Everything good, man. <laughs> you know what I love, yeah. Legacy, though, yeah. about being here in Ghana? The thing I love the most about being here, and not even Ghana, just the traveling, is a lot of people, like I said, don't mm -hmm. have a clue who I am. Definitely. So it allows me just to relax and be. Definitely. Anybody who hits you up, it might have, and they might have been saying it in jokes, and mm -hmm. then my friends. Mm -hmm. But anybody who said it in truthness, believe me when I tell you there's something nefarious about that same person who hits you up, and I don't even have to tell you that, and I don't even have to tell you, I don't even have to ask you who hits you up. I know you know this. Definitely. You see, you see look fine, you're fierce. <laughs> That's what I'm like. People don't like the truth, and I taught the truth, and I believe everybody's supposed to talk the truth. If you a guy and you want three women, yep. tell all three of your women, I want three women. What's good? Can we work together? <laughs> if you a woman and you just want a man with money, say, bae, I just want your money. I'm not that attracted to you, but if you give me the money, I'm going to make sure I make you happy, so let's Definitely. work it out. Just be honest, people. Last man on the line. Hello? What is the name? Where are you calling from? Hello? 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 Yeah. What is the name? Where are you calling from? My name is Kujo Rasta. Kujo Rasta. Hey. Yeah. Ara, we have Nikki in the, in the studio. <laughs> I'm coming from Amasama. You are coming from Amasama. Wait, you coming for me? <laughs> <laughs> Security! No. Easy. <laughs> Kujo Rasta, talk actually, to me. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I'm 14. You are 14? Oh, no, no. Yeah. I'm, oh. What are you studying? Are you in school? Nah, I'm not in school. It's a holiday. Why are you not in school? It's a holiday yeah. today. No, I mean, are you in school in general? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I... What are you aiming to be when you get older? Oh, I'm going to be a football player. Okay. Uh, All right. Looking out for music. Hey, hey, really hey, even if you're going to be a football player, stay in school because anything, anything can happen. At the end of the day, it's up what's in your head. Know that. Okay. All right, baby. Okay. You're welcome. Please. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love reggae music. You love reggae music? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It comes from oh, the heart, baby. Good. So make sure your heart stay clean. Okay. Okay. Please, can you play me Bob Marley songs? No Woman No Cry. No Woman Ooh. No Cry. You want Bob Marley song, No Woman No Cry, right? Yeah, yeah man. All right. Don't worry your head, man. I'm going to play that for you, all right? All yeah. Right. That was, uh, all right, respect, yeah? Give thanks. Easy. Next man on the line, hello. Easy. Hello. Oh, God, oh, God. Look like, look like me lose that man the line. You understand me? But it's all right. Yeah, yeah man. tell you call me requesting a song and i'll play it for you happy any other to all our muslim brothers hello who is there on the line Easy. hello barakadikallah barakadikade what is the why you calling from so my name is fog mm -hmm. i mean dan suman dan suman yeah dan suman tunga so, or alaji say that again are you in Dansuman Tunga or Alaji or um, Russia? Akukofutu. Akukofutu. Akuko Big respect to all the people that miss Akukofutu. <laughs> you don't know, man. Talk yeah. to me. We have this sweet, sexy <laughs> Nikki in the studio. Sharp, 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 sharp. So, um, Lagazi, mm -hmm. I, think, I think the first caller is a prophet. Mm -hmm. Probably Nikki should start looking at um, turning the music fraternity because he's got a voice. She's got the hip. 
and I think it would be good for her. So she should start considering that. Okay, I All right. that. All right. In the absence yeah. of that, if I can get a uh, brighter date from... Um... Hello? Man. Did Hello? We, did we get part of the request? Hey. Uh-oh. Thank you so much. I have Nikki Z. You understand me? I have Elvis Crystal in the place. Easy. You understand me? Now, let me talk to Elvis. 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 Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Elvis, talk to me. Talk to me. Uh, how, how is the feeling like you being on the other side? It's great. Easy. <laughs> you want to swallow me? Easy. <laughs> You want to swallow me? <laughs> you know, man, they pound like a saucepan, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> that man say man, they pound like a saucepan. Which of the pan? <laughs> saucepan. You know, say man, chalk like a block, man. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the sexy talk like this why so many women are trying to come to Africa. Because y'all be putting a post and talking like that right there. You see that? <laughs> you see the, the sexy talk, that right there. And then the teeth. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, Big God. Big up, Nikki C. Yeah, man. Nikki, Nikki is in the place. And trust me, Elvis goes to boom and step in. And Elvis, mm -hmm. I want to tell you this, Elvis. Talk to me. Someone is on the line. Hello. Hello. What is the name? What is the name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Fires. I'm calling from Sakumano. All right. We have Nikki in the studio. Yeah. I mean, when, when he said he had Nikki Z in the studio, I didn't believe it. Oh. I was like, I'm just at this. It is Nikki Z. The Nikki Z I've been listening to. Like the DJ Nikki Z. <laughs> yes, that's me. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Oh. I mean, this is actually my very first time calling a radio station. Wow! Wow! Yeah, yes. So, so but I've been so, listening to radio every day, but this is my very first time. So, bro, first. bro, you calling from Sakumono? Sakumono yeah. is a rich area as well. <laughs> and, <laughs> yo, bro, so, 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 so you don't believe me that I say I'm going to have Nikki Z today on the show? Jesus wow. Christ, bro, bro, yo, 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 me feel like we, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while. I might have to do oh, some well, stuff. I might have to do um, a party so I can meet all of you who actually have a clue who I am. Yeah, definitely, oh, definitely. You, you, I, welcome to Ghana. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy you're here. Me too. And I, I hope you enjoy yourself too. I am. I went to. I've been to a place called the Mood. I've been to oh. Salsa Night at Afrikiko. I've been to. Um, I went to a festival with. Um, I can't remember, but there was a festival <laughs> I went to. I went to McCullough Market. I went over to uh, Elmina. I've been, oh, so, I've been so many, beautiful. but I need so much more. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I actually, I follow you. I follow you. I noticed you've been traveling all around Africa. That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, much more to see, and hopefully we get to meet. Ghana. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. Give thanks for the call, yeah. Easy. Uh, sure, sure. Bye bye. Yeah, man. I can't believe the man said. Lagazi, I, I can't, yo, someone is on the line. Hello. Hi. What, Hi. What is, blessed, what is the name where you calling from? So I dropped the call, get the first time. This is Foggy. Foggy, all oh, right, all right, all right. Talk to me. Yeah, so um, before I go, shout out to my main man, Oti Jande. Nana Oti Jande. Nana Oti Jande. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. So um, if you can play me brighter days by busy signal, I would love it. All right. Oh, busy. All right. My family. I know All he right. didn't call you. All right. <laughs> All right. So, so the main thing is, I was going to talk about Otu, Otu Jando because the first time I heard Nikki Z um, syndicator show yeah. was courtesy Nana Otu Jando. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. But that's how I know you. Uh, as I, I said, uh, this yeah. is a decade of knowing. Of course, of course. And I have never met King Lagasse. Hey. First time. <laughs> because I quite remember those days, even in, 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 in Tadi, yeah. you know, Nana Otujando used to syndicate your shows. Yes. You understand me? And then he moved to Accra mm -hmm. and he was doing that on Plus FM. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah, man. And 
uh, one one um, Saturday evening, I was driving, run through town, and uh, my dial, you know, kind of fell on that. Yeah. And I'm like, Nikki in Ghana, wow. <laughs> and I'm like, really? So later on, I realized I was, you know, a, yeah. a, you know, a syndicated show. And, all and that it's kind of crazy thing. because every time I've tried to do stuff like that, it's mm-hmm. so hard to get the actual support. You know what I mean? Um, it's almost as if people are afraid of free thinkers. And that's why, it, for me, it was so important that my show was out here in Africa. I've never been here. I, I don't know anybody here. And I barely knew much about what was even going on in Africa, aside from what they show us on social media. And the most of it, it's either one extreme or the next. You don't really see enough of the culture and the people in itself. So I was flying blind when I was doing the show out here. But it felt good. But then changes happen, like you said. And I think the biggest loss was, you know... The uh, one in, yeah, we'll go past that. All right. <laughs> Someone is on the line. Hello. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm Janda. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Janda! <laughs> yeah, man. Everything good, man. Everything good, Easy. man. We have we have Nikki in the studio, Mr. Janda. So talk to yeah, me, Mr. Janda. Finally, she there, Ghana. You're stuck yeah. with me. You're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Been a long time. It uh, it has a long time, but you got to tell me where I got to go while I'm here. <laughs> uh, we we'll, we we'll make you go. I will make sure you stay. Yeah, big up the jam rock and jerk soul. Yeah. Woo, yummy. Listen, but where oh. else I got to go? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm I'm really happy because I think the culture, as early when you were discussing, is moved on to Africa, mm-hmm. and when it's just like yourself to come. To the continent, so we push this as further as we can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We need Ghana. That's what people don't get. Like, we need Ghana. We need the support. We need the airs. We need the eyes. We need it. But I don't think a lot of Jamaicans even knew it was visa free travel. I even met the Honorable uh, Julius Garvey, Dr. Julius Garvey, the other day. Yeah. He didn't even know it was uh, visa free yeah. travel. He was laughing. He was like, I should have brought my Jamaica passport. But we need um, the listeners in Ghana, and I know that the musicians here in Ghana definitely would appreciate being able to be heard in Jamaica as well. And I think we're not doing enough to really connect the dots. Yeah. yeah. Well, for those of us who might not really know, Nikki's been at the forefront of pushing dancehall internationally. Yeah. You know, in the early, or so the mid-2000s, I think 2000s. Until it started getting about- crappy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she was pushing the whole dance style movement yeah. really well. I remember she was the first person who um, Stone Boy's song on Jamaican radio. Yeah. So Stone Boy himself is not aware because I sent that song across for her to play it on her program. But that's how far she's come. She's really been a fan of what the company is doing, especially Ghana. She's been looking into Ghana for the longest time. And it's a pleasing news to have her in the country. Let's what else you can do with that girl for us? I love you. <laughs> I'm, All right, I'm about to cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Having an emotional moment now. Somebody pass me a Guinness. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Someone is on the line. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Someone is on the line. Hello. Talk to me. Talk to hey, me. Sir. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me. It's me again. It's, it's, it's you again? Yeah. I will forget to say. Mm hmm. Talk to me. I want to, I want to know when you said one day if I travel to Jamaica, I will visit her. You said what? You want to know what? I want to know her name. You, oh, her name is Nikki Z. My name is Nikki Z. Z. Yes. yes. Instagram Nikki Z Live. N I K K I Z L I V E. Nikki Z Live. That's me. Easy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yes. Uh. Lagazi, yeah. can I ask you a question? Go, go ahead. I need go ahead. to know which one of the artists from Jamaica, the new ones, mm-hmm. are, are building a little repertoire out here in Ghana. All right. So when you come to Ghana right now, yeah. um, I think Desta is doing well. That's Desta Dubs is doing well. Yeah. Masika is doing well over here. Okay. TJ is doing well. Okay. Um. Um... <laughs> Massacre is doing well. He said Massacre twice. That four three, you said it twice. Yeah. Four three eight. I get it. I get it. Big up to Massacre. <laughs> yeah, man. Massacre so nice. Doing, you ever said twice. Jamil is doing well over Jamil here. Jamil is amazing. Yeah. yeah. 
Are we good to go? We're hey, good? Hey. Oh, wait. So, wait. Before I do anything, though, I'm going to let you choose while I go get set up. Are we going to go roots and culture? Are we going to go new age? Are we going to go old school? Are we going to do what we Roots do? and culture, please. Roots and culture. Ah. Hey. <laughs> How are you going to just name Dexter Massacre and then you... Ah. No. Fine. Fine. <laughs> But I'm still going to go new age roots and culture and then maybe bring uh, it back. I can uh, do uh, that. All right. Okay. Good. Mr. Janda, talk to me. Yeah, so like I was saying, mm-hmm. I think we, we, we're at an age where we need to embrace all still sets from our skin types all over the world to the country. Before you know, we become the California of music. We become the center of our center of everything artistic for the new frontiers African can conquer. Mm-hmm. Only people like you mm-hmm. who push beyond the boundaries, mm-hmm. who held down on the African continent. Where people like you are not only doing the music pushing, but also bringing the culture, making sure there's culture to the music we enjoy, we get to understand the tenets of the game and all of that. If you have uh, a Tata in the system, we need to know that Okay, so now the world is not looking to us, but she brings a certain level and, you know, uh, uh, numbers of attraction, mm-hmm. what we can do. Mm-hmm. So if she's in Ghana, if the world is in the digital front just now she's in Ghana, we need to be able to pin it to something good, positive, to an image of the country. So I'm hoping that beyond her, we're able to activate the next level of respect and importance of Ghana to this whole key happening. The, the, the big mention of um, Afrobe, you know, must stand all the time. Yes, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. Afrobe. Mm-hmm. But what else has the continent, what else has Ghana, musically? And we know we are bound in lots of talent and play genre. And I'm hoping that we have this step up to want to showcase the world what we are made up of, especially the two of you. Uh, okay. And I'm happy if I look at the job and the work of our uh, Black Rasta, um, Ahoma, both school, yourself, and then some others who are in the system whose business is to push the art of music to certain levels where you know you can make a living out of the whole creativity. She had made mention of the fact that she had to probably shut off uh, music content on radio because it had moved away from being pure passion and creativity into business. Mm-hmm. And this is what we are suffering from. We have um, investors in the media entity in Ghana and in the nation to appreciate the levels of creativity that will allow me to to thrive and then also bring you some essence of comment to the whole experience. Definitely. I think we are coming to an age where the, the likes of you, Nikki Z, Kwame Malcolm, Integrity, we need to now have a conversation on the business of everything, Afrobeat, Afro dancer. I mean, black music needs to set up and then rise up to an occasion where we're going to have the youth make money, have good living out of their creativity. Right. And we need to have a front line to start to have this conversation, to government, to investment. It's time. That's what I want to say. All right, Mr. John, I would like to say thank you so much for the input. All right. Nikki. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do right now is... Nikki is going to play 30 minutes non-stop and then we'll come back all right she'll do 40 minutes we will come back and then wrap it up but in a, before Nikki step in now let me quickly do this commercial you know what I mean ladies and gentlemen looking for the most convenient way to send money you know to friends and family top up airtime and data Pay for goods and services. Sign up to FlexiPay now. I mean now. Do that now. You know what I mean? FlexiPay is the ultimate solution for seamless transactions. You know, with its user-friendly interface and uh, robot security features, this app, you know, resolutionize the way you handle payments Say goodbye to cash and hello to convenience. You can link your ATM cards or Momo wallet and pay like a king. Download FlexiPay now on Play Store 
you know, App Store, Huawei Gallery, and experience a whole world of convenience. Ladies and gentlemen, it don't know, man. This is Flexi Pay, man. You know, yeah, man. Convenience is what we say. I am mean, Nikki, you ready? All right.
Wow, 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 wow. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Nah, you came on Dex Adapts for a reason. You trying to pick up somebody right now. That's the only reason you want to talk over the Dex Adapts. Oh, God. Yeah, man. Oh, God. You see? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. Trust me, we have, we have, we have just... Um, 19 minutes to go away. That's it? Yeah, man. We need more time. I'm going to have to come back. <laughs> yeah, man. So, I ain't even getting away yet. So what I'm going to do is yeah. I'm going to invite Nikki Z to Soundcheck Sunday. You understand me? Every last Sunday of the month. Ooh. Last Sunday of the month, we do what we call the Streetly Sound System Culture. So nice. you, you can step in and play your dubs and, and trust everything. Me. And after that, we can do the dub for dub up in the I'm phone not, lines. Look, 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 let me make it very clear. I am not a dub clasher. I do not profess to be. No, no. I do not even collect dubs. The only dubs I have are those who send it just because they want to send it. Hey. You see you male DJs <laughs> every time. Every single time. But I'm going to play the baddest dub before uh, I leave uh, here. D- d- don't worry yourself, yeah. Nikki. Everything is all right in the place and everything yeah. good. Trust me. Um, we we gave Nikki almost um 30 something minutes to play. Yeah. You understand me? And everything good. You understand me? And this is what we are talking about over here. Reggae dancer living. Yeah. You know what I mean? Reggae dancer rule. Easy. Yeah, absolutely. You Nikki, ready for some dance on? Nikki, <laughs> tell me, tell me um your stay in Ghana now. Yeah. How has it been like? Um Actually, I haven't been out as much as I want to yet, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because every time I'm asking people where to go, they're always telling me these touristy place. And I think the real places that I want to go are not listed on Google. You know what I mean? So you got to kind of be around and just hopefully. Have you, have you traveled outside Accra yet? Only only went to Elmina. I went there. Oh, That's okay. about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You've gone to Elmina and you, you, you back. Yeah. <laughs> What was the experience like at, you know, Elmina? I, if I'm going to be honest, I didn't really enjoy it. And I didn't enjoy it because I didn't feel that it really got to the root of what happened to us, what was done to us, and the history of it all. I feel like it was just like I was walking through a hollow fact check. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. when I went to Stone Town, I remember that in Zanzibar. When I left there, I left there in tears because the tour guide was so serious about what he was saying and so he was just so knowledgeable in his delivery and making sure that you not only heard the facts but you felt what was felt at the moment and I think that that is super important we can't just water something down because we don't want the tourists to have a sad experience we should actually elevate it and if you are European or from any of the countries Dutch or any of those countries who have ancestors who you should leave feeling it. You should leave feeling shame. You should leave. And if you are African, you should leave feeling empowered to know that we have come from far. We're never going to make those same mistakes. I just felt like it fell short. All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going for a quick commercial break. When we step forward, trust me, me and Nikki will come and wrap up. Yeah. Easy. It's the rush out. The rush out. The rush out. Rush out. Hey, yo, you know, oh, this is None other than the big bad mighty bounty killer representing for King Lagazi, oh, the seven star general. Hey, yo! Yeah, I try to show off on me now. Yeah, show off on me, Lagazi. Yeah, show off. Oh, God. Under pressure, the pressure is worse. King Lagazi gives them girls love and affection. My name is King Lagazi. Wow. Nikki, yeah, um, it's been wonderful. It's been so much fun. Wow, it's, <laughs> it's been fun. I'm like only been here half an hour. It's over already. Oh Jesus Christ of Nazareth! <laughs> finally, finally, yeah. Your word of advice to the people in the diaspora since you're in Ghana now. I'm gonna give advice to any human that's actually listening. I'm not gonna make it pinpointed, but what I'm going to say is, if you have a dream, go towards your dream. A lot of us are living in a fog, so we're not living our dream. We're living what we think we have to do to get by in what we were told this world is created as. And a lot of times we lose our great. I know, I know. I need to meet them. All right. No the problem. Streets. No the problem. streets be talking. No problem. All right, make and, it and, happen. And, and, and we, we have um, St. Vincent in there and the Grenadines artist, Q Shande, also repatriated. Wow. He's in Ghana now. Listen. Great things. Easy. All right. So, Nikki, we buck up in, 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 you know, in a couple of days, man. Stay less. Well, stay less. All right. 
It's me wonderful. My name is King Lagazi. I will rush out. Thanks for having me. I'll be here Sunday <laughs> on my usual yard settings with Livingston Echesa Tecla, a.k.a. Stone Boy. I'm living in the hands of Christopher Ellis. Yeah. You know, um, Nikki played the 45. And I'm going to play the dog plate. Nice. Nikki Z live. Follow Some me later. I go get gunshot. And everyone knows it's true. Like a Z's going to kill us 